my get ready with me video um so the styles that i chose today are um from algeria so the outfit um that i had on first is called karakau um mine is not authentic um but usually it ha is like bottoms that are like sarwal um or a skirt that come up a little bit on the side of the legs. Um, I personally don't feel comfortable doing that, so I just wear my, nor my normal sarwal. Um, and then it also has a jacket or top, um, which generally is tied with um, a belt or something like that. Um, and the jacket's usually very uh, elegant and embroidered. Um, and I tried to get something that would be um, comparable without um, having to order all the way from Algeria, um, which, you know, one day inshallah. But, you know, um, right now what I do, I try and do what I can with what I have. Um, the outfit that I put on over it is called, used, this is a um, medical mask style niqab that I was given by a friend. Um, but I think it works beautifully for this. Um, what is normally used is a white niqab that is kind of, it looks like it's made out of a handkerchief. Um, and the top half is like plain, while the bottom half has white lace on it. Um, and it just ties around, it's a half niqab. Um, and then the outer garment, the jilbab or abaya portion of the ahaik, is um, essentially it consists of like a white uh, semi-rectangular um, sheet. Um, usually it's got like grid pattern um, like mine does or it's got like lines. Um, they're generally a more like off-white color um, but what I found was um, closer to you know actually white. 
Um, and then sometimes they have like gold or other color metallic -y designs in the stripes, um, especially if it's for like a wedding or something like that. Um, and basically all you do is you, what I showed you, you pull it around you and fold it so that way it's the desired length, pin it um, at one side of your chest, and then you pull the rest over. You can hold together the front. Um, hayek can be worn with or without the niqab portion, um, but m many wear niqab with it. Um, and the reason why I chose to do the karakau and the sarwell underneath is because um, and I'll put this in the blog and show pictures, but um, traditional pictures of women wearing a hayek from like the early 1900s or something like that um, show women in white sarwell underneath it um, with the hayek being shorter. So I wanted to kind of throw back to that history um, in that sense. I'm really big on uh, cultural history and anthropology and stuff like that. Um, and then there's also one other style um, that's in Algeria, and it's called Malaya. Um, Malaya is, it consists of either the same white niqab or some people have a black one. And then it's a black outer garment. Um, most of the ones I've seen, it's a one-piece garment where it comes over the top um, and then it's got a slit down the front that then closes at the bottom. So it's kind of like a really long U. Um, so you don't have to worry about pinning it like you do with the Hayek. Um, and also it tends to have a portion where it's kind of pulled back over the head um, like that, uh, bulky around the head um, like like excess fabric was flipped backwards and tied. Um, but that's only seen in Constantine. So I hope you guys really liked this video. I enjoyed figuring out uh, the style and I enjoyed making it for you. Inshallah, I'll be posting up a blog with uh, pictures and everything, um, maybe a step-by-step -step on how to, how to pin the Hayek um, and things like that. Oh, and then the shoes at the end. <laughs> the reason that I am sorry, my uh, video is really non-linear today. Um, I think the heat is getting to me. Um, the shoes at the end I chose uh, to, to show you guys because now today like in Algeria when you look up pictures of women in Hayek, um, you see many of them in high heels, usually they're white, um, or they match the caracal they have underneath. Um, and many women also do now, they're trying to revive uh, the Hayek within um, Algerian culture. And so you'll see younger girls um, around my age, they will wear the Hayek with just like jeans and a t-shirt. Um, and go out like that. Um, and I think it's amazing, mashallah. So hopefully I can get everything up for you guys today. It's Wednesday. If I get it out tomorrow and it posts on Thursday, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to get everything done. Um, I'm still working on uh, some medical issues and um, we, are, we took in a new disabled puppy. Um, so things are just a little bit crazy, uh, plus the weather. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, and inshallah, my next one, um, I have a specific video in mind. Um, I can't for the life of me currently remember uh, what culture it is from. Um, but inshallah, I will have it for you next week. And it'll be very interesting for you to see. All right. Thank you guys. Ma salama. Jazakumullahu karin.